more than 40 years, Balchem scientists have been perfecting the art of encapsulation. With our start in the food, pharmaceutical, and nutrition industries, we understand the need for high quality products that consistently deliver nutrients to an exact location at expected concentrations. We continue to perfect and expand the technology and today provide the most efficient and effective encapsulation process in the world. In animal nutrition, encapsulation technologies are gaining ground, protecting critical nutrients such as niacin, choline, and amino acids from ruminal degradation. However, not all these technologies deliver equal protection. You could be paying good money for inadequate protection and losing most of those essential nutrients in the room. Hi, I'm Glenn Ains, Technical Services Specialist with Balchem Animal Nutrition and Health. Today we would like to show you a quick way to determine the level of rumen protection you're getting and if your animals are really receiving these essential nutrients in expected amounts. Let's look at the two main technologies for protecting products against degradation in the rumen, a matrix or a true encapsulation. In a matrix, the active ingredient or payload is embedded in a lipid matrix, much like chocolate chip cookie dough. The advantage of this process is that it's a fast and inexpensive way to attempt to protect the active ingredient. The disadvantage is that there is rapid breakdown in the rumen of any active ingredient that is exposed to the surface or edges of the matrix, which will result in less product reaching the intestine for absorption than you expect. With true encapsulation, like the Balchem process, the active ingredient is completely encased in lipid layers, creating a consistent and smooth outer shell, much like an M&M. This results in superior protection and more consistent delivery of active ingredient to the intestine. Now let's look at a really easy way to see how stable the different protection technologies are. There are three primary attributes that go into making an effective encapsulated nutrient. The coating technology must maintain production throughout manufacturing, transport, storage, and feeding. It must protect the nutrient from rumen degradation and release the nutrient in the small intestine where it can be absorbed and utilized. This test is an accurate way to measure just one of those attributes, but it's an important one because if the nutrient doesn't escape room and degradation, there is nothing to be released in the small intestine and no nutrient to be utilized by the cow. For this experiment, all you need is the lysine or choline products you want to test, some distilled water, a small scale or half teaspoon measure, some inexpensive chloride test strips, and some small clear or glass containers. The source of lysine in all of these products is lysine hydrochloride or choline chloride. For each molecule of lysine or choline, there is one molecule of chloride in the product. Since choline and lysine levels are relatively difficult and expensive to test for, we can easily test the solution for chloride. By measuring the amount of chloride released into the water over time, we can determine how much lysine or choline is also released. What I'm going to do is simply measure out one gram of each product with the exception of Megamine L, which has a much lower lysine content than the other products. We'll check back on these hourly for the next few hours to test the level of protection. With lysine products, another easy way to see the difference in protection is a simple visual test. For this test, we want to include three grams of actual lysine, which is approximately six grams or four teaspoons of product. We'll place them in 100 mils of water and observe the change in color of the water. Through the wonder of time-lapse video, we'll now be able to speed up this process and you'll see how the water changes from clear to yellow. The more lysine released into the water, the more yellow the water becomes. Different feedstuffs have different average retention times in the rumen. Conservatively, a minimum average retention time of an encapsulate in the rumen would be six hours. So as you can see, in the majority of the samples, much of the lysine we want absorbed in the small intestine has already been lost in the rumen. But with AminoSure L, we've retained most of the lysine for release in the small intestine. Let's jump back to our chloride test. With this test, we will be more precise in determining how much choline or lysine is lost at each time interval. 
One hour has passed since we started these vials. As we mentioned, we're going to test the level of chloride molecules released into the water, which is in a one-to-one -one ratio to choline or lysine released. To test the chloride released, we will use chloride test strips. I prefer Hox strips in the 30 to 600 part per million range. At each hour, we placed a test strip in each sample. When the indicator line at the top of the strip turns black, the test is complete. We then read the numerical value indicated by the change in the strip color. As you can see, at one hour, this amino sure L sample has a value of 0.4. Megamine L has a value of 5. Lysine 35 is 1.0 and lysopearl is 5.8. After converting to parts per million, we can then calculate the percentage of chloride and consequently choline or lysine released over time. We've completed this test every hour for the last five. As you can see, the results are compelling. Rumen stability for the encapsulated products differs considerably. We see that much of the active ingredient in all but one of these samples would be lost in the rumen prior to reaching the small intestine. Balchem's Amino Sure L delivers the highest levels of lysine to the small intestine. Although they may look similar in appearance, there are wide differences in quality, protection, and return for your investment. So when choosing room and protected products, be sure to ask a few simple questions. How is the active ingredient protected from room and degradation? What percent of the active ingredient is actually delivered to the small intestine? How does that information compare to some simple, quick tests? To learn more or receive a summary of these results, visit us at balchem.com or contact your Balchem representative.